Joseph Frank Keaton was born on October 4, 1895, in Pickway, Kansas. His parents, Joe and Myra Keaton, were both accomplished vaudevillians. In case you're not aware of what that means, vaudeville was an old style of theater which featured a wide variety of entertainment such as singing, magic, trained animals, ventriloquism, and a host of acts that you'd also find in circuses. It was eventually replaced with cinema, but before that, Keaton was performing with his parents in vaudeville acts from the early age of three years. The family unit was promoted as the Three Keatons. As a child, Keaton's most frequent act alongside his parents ended up getting the family in legal trouble. In the vein of physical comedy, Keaton would feign disobedience on stage, then his father would angrily throw him around on stage, and even into the audience. This naturally resulted in accusations of child abuse, but Keaton willingly showed the police that he never suffered any damage from his father's antics. When Keaton was just three years old, he suffered a rather nasty accident when his right index finger was crushed by a clothes wringer. The top of his finger had to be amputated. Keaton didn't bother trying to hide it, so you can notice it in his films, particularly The Garage. Other comedians of the silent film era had acts similar to Keaton, amusing chase scenes, being left behind by a variety of vehicles. But he found a way to stand out. Part of what made Keaton's act so distinct was his stone face. While other silent film actors relied on dramatic expressions to convey their stories, Keaton kept his face still. During this era of Hollywood, actors were starting to rely on stunt doubles. Even those who did their own stunts used camera tricks to seem more daring. This includes Harold Lloyd and his famous safety last clock scene. Keaton was different. Not only did he perform all of his own stunts, he made sure they were real. In perhaps his most highly acclaimed movie, The General, he spent $42,000 to shoot a real train crash, an unheard of amount at the time. Believe it or not, Keaton appears to be the first person in known history to use Buster as a first name. Unsurprisingly, the name became well-known because of Keaton's fame, and Buster started to catch on for parents all over the world. One of Keaton's biggest films from his heyday was The General, a silent comedy that was set during the Civil War. At the time, the film was a critical and commercial flop, as even then, people didn't think that the Civil War was a setting that was ripe for comedy. The expensive failure that was the general put an end to Keaton's auteur-style control over his own films. Years later, the general is now regarded by many as Keaton's masterpiece. No less a figure than Orson Welles, the man behind Citizen Kane, stated that the general was the best film ever made. In the 1920s, Keaton was one of the big three silent film stars, along with Harold Lloyd and Charlie Chaplin. However, unlike those other two, Keaton made the mistake of selling his studio and the rights to his films to MGM. Lloyd and Chaplin retained their film rights, which left them in good financial standing, while Keaton spent the next decade in dire financial straits. Keaton was a heavy smoker throughout his life, and this naturally affected his health in a very bad way. However, when doctors diagnosed him with lung cancer in 1966, neither they nor Keaton's family never actually told him what was wrong with him. They were allegedly worried that knowing about the cancer would be detrimental to his health. While Keaton's stunts were carried on without disaster as a child, Keaton's adult career was, perhaps unsurprisingly, filled with incidents of stunts going wrong. Among Keaton's injuries were being knocked unconscious, at least one near drowning, and a broken ankle. Despite these injuries and incidents though, Keaton never once refused to perform a stunt. Anyone who has seen Steamboat Bill Jr. will know that the film includes a moment where a cyclone causes a house's front to collapse on top of Keaton. His character only survives because he is standing precisely where the open window is. Believe it or not, there was no trick behind this particular stunt. Keaton and his crew meticulously calculated exactly where Keaton should stand, knowing full well that if they were off by even a few inches, Keaton would be killed. <laughs>